Hey y'all, hey! I want to officially welcome y'all to my channel. It's my third video. So today I'm going to be doing a little faux hawk um, and I'm going to spice it up a little bit with the bantu knot and some gold accessories. It was really easy to do, but I'm going to be real with y'all. I tried to do another um, hairstyle at first, but it wasn't working out how I envisioned it in my head. So we just stuck with the basics. Sidebar, I haven't done a twist out in so long. So when I took these little twists out, I was like, ooh, this is cute. But back to the program. If you see my other videos, I use this sleeve-in and I actually really love it. I got it from Target and it has a really, really nice consistency. It leaves my hair very soft and it's definitely moisturizing. I don't know why I didn't part my hair to do this, but here we are. Then I use the Cream of Nature with Argon Oil Twist and Curl Pudding. It smells really good. I usually use it on my mom's hair when I do her twist, um, but I try to focus on my ends more than anywhere else in my hair because obviously that's the driest part. But it's thick enough so that it holds the moisture in really, really well. And for my hair, I like and pretty much need thick creams, especially if I'm doing a style like this. And if you see me talking, I'm talking to my new puppy, Nala, because she was getting a little restless and I just want to make sure she didn't pee everywhere. So yeah. For my oil, I used a homemade oil that I made with olive oil, Jamaican black castor oil, peppermint oil, rosemary oil, and tea tree oil. And y'all, it feels and smells so good, especially on your scalp. So I put it on my scalp, but then I also rub it on my ends and up to my roots just to, you know, lock all the moisture in with that oil. I also use the Main Choice Deep Hydration Serum. Um, it's an oil mist and it's really light, but it smells good. And it's just an extra layer of oil, which I like to keep on my hair when I'm putting my hair up. So for my faux hawk, I'm going to do three buns. So of course, I'm going to part my hair into three sections. I actually did pretty decent with my parts. Sometimes it takes me a minute. So I'm going to just speed through this part because it's just parts. So I'll make two parts so I can have three sections. Um, and then we'll put each section in a little bun. Okay, so now that we have the three sections, let me tell y'all what I attempted to do. I wanted to do three flat twists that would go into three different little bantu knots, but you'll see. I did it, but it didn't work out that way. So this is where I started to do the three flat twists. I was gonna do one triangle in the center and then two on the sides. I use the Eco Style Gel, Black Castor Oil, and Black Seed, and then the Miel Edge Control. I think what really happened was, is that one, my hair was probably a little too wet. I know it doesn't look wet, but it's really slick when it's wet. But also, I like my buns starting really, really high on my head, so the parts were probably just too short for me to do any kind of flat twist. I feel like I want to try a similar style again, but this time I'll probably do a different parting pattern so that the flat twist can be longer and it would make more sense. I really could have just done a triangle with no parts and then twisted it like this 
and did the bed two knots. Again, if you saw my other videos, you know I've been using the black castor oil on my ends to make sure they're sealed nicely. I did this consistently a few years ago and it really, really helped with length retention. So, just gonna make the little band tonight. And I know I look super sleepy. Y'all, having a puppy is just really bad for your sleep. But I love her, she's so cute. Also, I have no idea where my brush is and I need to go buy another one. So in all of my videos, I've just been using this edge controller brush. But I'm gonna get it right next time. So we're just gonna twist this up and put it to the side so that we can work on the next section. So real quick, let me just tell y'all what I attempted to do. I wanted to do a few more flat twists going up and have Bantu knots kind of lining the other buns, but you see my face. <laughs> I'm over it. So I just called it quits. Go back to the simple. Look at this, I'm weak. So basically what I'm doing to get the buns is that I am just loosely wrapping it and then pinning and then pinning some more after I fluff it to get it to where I want it to be. Simple. I could never get this string back right after I used it in that high bun um, top knot tutorial. Which, go check it out. So basically to get it Woven into the bantu knot, I'm just, I tied it in a loose knot at the top, and then I'm just really wrapping it around my hair. Then we're just gonna twist it, wrap it, whatever you wanna call it, into a bantu knot. Took the ends of the string in and then just took a bobby pin and pinned it to my curls so that it could stay up straight. I should have flipped the top one out just a little bit more but it kind of looks like a tiara, so I left it. So yeah, that's it. Super easy. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Check out my other videos. Bye, y'all.